Hey YouTube. Here we are, another night shift, another video. I want to talk to you guys today a little bit about drug half-lifes. And the uh, whole purpose of this was uh, I was at the gym and I overheard two dudes talking about uh, when they have to take medication and like how often they had to take it. And they were obviously talking about gear. No judgments, don't care guys. And their understanding of half-lifes of drugs and how often they need to be taking certain drugs was so goddamn ridiculous and awful that I decided to make a video about it. So, we're going to pretend that we're not talking about gear, because gear is illegal. What we're going to talk about instead is pharmaceuticals, and that's the term we're going to use. So, let's talk about half-lifes. What a half-life means is that when you have a medication, or a drug, or, you know, um, and it has a half-life of, say, 12 hours. That means after 12 hours, one half-life, half of that drug is still bioavailable in your system. So if you take a 100 milligram tablet and it has a half-life of 12 hours, after 12 hours, there's 50 milligrams left. After another 12 hours, there's 25 milligrams left of that medication. Another 12, 12.5, 6, you know, you get it, right? So that's how a half-life works. Now, when you take medications, you generally take them when their half-life occurs. So as a drug, uh, effective, uh, a drug's effectiveness is determined by its half-life. The shorter the half-life, the more frequently you have to take it. Um, the longer the half-life, the less often. All right. So if you have a drug that has a half-life of 24 hours, you take it every 24 hours. If, on the other hand, you have a drug that has a half-life of an hour, you got to take it every hour. Right? It's, it's not rocket scientology, guys. So let's say you have a medication that you're going to take that you have to take every eight hours. All right. Or you should take every eight hours because it's got a half-life of eight hours. If you don't take it every eight hours, are you going to lose all the effectiveness of the drug? No. No, obviously you're not. That's ridiculous. And if you thought that, you're stupid. You. I'm talking to you. Anyways, so the big problem with these guys I was over listening is they're like, no, bro, you got to take it like, you got to take it like every hour or you have to take it like every hour or otherwise it doesn't work and you make no gains. You know, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, well, yeah, the particular drug you're talking about has a half-life of eight hours, but that doesn't mean if you don't take it every eight hours, it doesn't work. So let's explain this. It takes four and a half half-lifes for a drug to be so completely diminished in your system that it's no longer effective. Four and a half. So if you had a medication that has a one hour half-life, it takes four and a half hours for that medication to no longer be effective in your system. Even in little small doses, it's still effective. If you have a medication that has a 12 hour half-life, it takes two and a quarter days, two and a quarter days for that to no longer be effective in your system. So if you don't take a medication immediately on its half-life, that doesn't mean it doesn't work. Is it a little bit less effective? Not that much less effective. So what we do in the medical world is we give ourselves an hour buffer uh, left and right of that half-life. So if I have a drug that I have to give every eight hours, I can either give it after seven hours or give it after nine. And the reason for that is, is that's the understanding of half-life, is that that 50%, you're, you're just kind of, you're starting up here at the max dose, the half-life takes it down to 50%, and then you're topping yourself back up, right? And that's why you're taking it, so that you're constantly having a good amount in your system rather than bottoming out and then coming back up, right? That's not an effective way to use any kind of pharmaceutical. So that's how half-lifes work, guys. It basically is every, whatever the half-life is, becomes ha there's now half of the effective dose left in your system, and for every half-life, it diminishes that much more. Now, let's say you're taking a med and it's got a, a eight hour half-life and you don't take it and then you remember 16 hours later. Remember that drug is still like 25% in your system or whatever, yeah, it's about 25% left in your system or, or however have you. So it's still working. You just gotta top yourself back up to, an, to your original dose. So don't freak out if you don't take something on time or you forget to take one of your medications or medications. All right, you got buffers, guys. Don't freak out. It's not, it's, it's not every hour on the hour or else, okay? Understand half-lives. And then when it, uh, a medication or a med is gonna clear your system, it takes four and a half half-lives to clear your system. So let's say you go silly and you end up taking a medication. Sorry, I did that towards me. A medication and then you have a really bad adverse effect and its half-life is like a day it's gonna still be in your system for like four and a half friggin' days. So don't go full retard on anything too fast too soon, all right? Take small doses of stuff unless a doctor prescribes it to you and then, you know, go with that. The idea being is that 
because the drug's still in your system, you still are going to be having adverse effects while it's diminishing in strength, okay, in some small amount. So just be careful with drug half-lives. Know how long a med can stay in your system and know how much you can tolerate of it. That's it, guys. Five and a half minutes. I hope that's not too, too long. I mean, it's not really, this isn't really a scientific video. I just want my, you know, I want you guys to be safe, right? Especially if you're going to mess around with stuff. Um, and just understand how these things work and don't freak out if it's not always done on time and whatnot. Anyways, you clearly know what this video was about, but it was about medications and pharmaceuticals, right guys? So that's it guys. Stay safe out there. Be smart with what you're doing. Don't hurt yourself and always seek medical advice if you have any issues, right? Post questions and comments down below. And as always, eat like a bodybuilder, train like a powerlifter.